Everybody's got a love And everybody's gonna die Everybody just wanna have a good, good time I think you know the reason why I'm Duncan Watt. Drew Wimpy. Eli Gordon. My name is Cole Lent. My name is Polly Fotheringham. Cade Wolstenham. I'm Matthew Sweat. The best piece of advice Tom has given me is like you can be too anything. You can be a workaholic, you know, you can work too much. You can be too relaxed. He lives and breathes confidence. The coolest thing he's taught me is having a desire when it comes to working towards your goals. And if you don't have a real desire, you won't be getting anything out of it. Tom's a very do it now guy. The one that's most stood out to me is how to be vulnerable and when to be vulnerable. And it's in those little moments. It's not where you stand up and tell everyone your deepest, darkest secret and all your problems. It's in those little moments where you give someone a compliment. Stay focused on like your goals in life. If you want your business to succeed and grow, like you really have to get after it. You gotta quit being a little baby. He'll always talk about how if you want to give someone a, a criticism or something, you should give them a compliment first and end it with a compliment. Enjoy the little things in life. He always has stories about that. Really successful people have get to itiveness and stick to itiveness. And yeah, he heard that from somewhere. I don't think he came up with that. And those are obviously made up words, but get to itiveness and stick to itiveness. I need to voice my opinion which I have a really hard time doing. The best piece of advice that he's given me or the biggest impact he's had on my life is just watching him live, I guess, because like it's just very admirable that he doesn't have everything, but he makes it he makes the most out of everything he has. If you if you want something, he encourages you to go get it. It's rock and roll. Nothing's gonna happen unless you start. To speak directly when you're having a tough conversation. He has like optimized every single aspect of his life. Tom's best quality is his desire to, to work. He's super passionate and he loves to go adventure. He's a loyal guy. Tom, maybe better than anyone I know, is able to find the good in people, see the good in people, and encourage them and motivate them. He magnifies what's good about them. He is such a real person and he's so brutally honest with you but it is the most helpful and the most useful thing ever. And I really have come to respect that from him. And I try to do the same for others now too. Um, I like how Tom, he just says it how it is. He's just blunt with it. And I think that's the way it needs to be and helping me to look at what needs to get done then and there. He's real with you, pure criticism. The guy, if you need somebody to be honest with you, Tom Stone is that guy. For me, the best part about Broadbent would be just like how down to earth he is and just like how easy he is to talk to. Mr. Broadbent is a person that just really cares about you. He will always come up to me and ask me about my day. He's always excited to see you. He's always in a good mood. The dude cares. He cares so much. This isn't a job to him. It's he genuinely wants to help improve our lives and the lives of the people we're working with. His brain is always thinking about life and how to make life better. He genuinely cares about people rather than asking them to start a conversation. He genuinely cares about how you are and what you're feeling. The best quote about Broadbent is how just loving he is and how he wants to see everybody succeed. Broadbent's best quality is from the day I met him, I just knew he was pure kindness. Like there's not a mean bone in his body. He never has said a mean word about anyone. And I just respect him so much for that and he believes in me as a, as a person. He doesn't look at me like I'm a kid. He looks at me like I'm somebody with potential. I think his best quality is that he gives out amazing advice and you can tell that he follows the advice that he gives. He just lights up a room, like every time. Broadbent is the happiest man I have ever met. Mr. Broadbent's best quality is he's just very humble and he's really passionate about everything he does. This is like, this is like a real thing in the business world. You little devils. You little devils. <laughs> I have no heartburn about this. Like this feels good to me. Okay, so. Oh, this makes my heart happy. That's a real thing in the business world. Let's talk shop. Drew, this is so good. I feel like you've got this, just so you know. Today's a day to grind. Tom always goes like this. He goes, if he has to like gather himself, 
Five. I come to Caps, and whenever he has an opener, it puts everyone in a really, really good mindset. He knows how to lead and, and control the room. He's helped me get many clients. He's helped me get set up with mentors. Before, he was just a mentor who I was absolutely terrified of. But now he's just become a friend, a close confidant. Even at church, he'll just come up and say hi to me or talk to me. And he's just, he's really impacted my life. Every time I talk to Tom, he's just like, you're an adult, you're a young adult, your work is worth it. And so he's just all about making sure that you know you are worth what you're worth. Tom has impacted my life because he's, he chooses to be at CAPS on his free time. He is a volunteer here. And so he's shown me that there are lots of ways to add value to the world. When Broadbent steps in the room, he's just always smiling, which is pretty cliche, but it really does make a difference. And just the respect he has for high school age kids, he's excited to see you and talk to you about your day and ask you questions and have real conversations with you. It's like, it, it feels like he's your friend. Oh my gosh, Mr. Broadbent has impacted my life in so many ways. I'm gonna be really sad after I graduate because I won't be able to be around him every single day. He has like really positively impacted my life. Like I was sad one day and I remember I was really looking down on my project and some other aspects of my life and he totally flipped it. He tried to show me um, on how I could be better and how I could look at it from a positive aspect. I think Mr. Broadbent, he's a good guy, deep down, right there, in the heart. <laughs> I think it's super beneficial because they both look at things differently but in an entrepreneurial way. way. Tom and Broadbent both have business experience. They both have just general life experience. They're both such good people that are focused on making the kids experience as good as possible. They encourage this effectiveness and productivity in like the best way possible. They see exactly our potential and they push us in the best ways possible to reach that. Thank you, Mr. Robin, and thank you, Tom. Thanks for dealing with my sass all these years. Robin didn't get it as much, but Tom got it pretty heavy, so thank you, Tom. You guys have changed lives and will continue to change lives. Tom and Mr. Robin, you guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me grow my business and building confidence. You help all of us stay on task, but you don't push us so much that we can't learn. Tom and Robin, forever in my heart. Thank you for all that you do, Broadbent. I think everybody in CAPS in general appreciates you so much. Thank you, Broadbent, for all the opportunities you've provided at Wasatch and everything you've done here. Not even just at the high school, in the whole district. And I know you're definitely everyone's favorite teacher. That's 100% true. And don't ever stop telling people about your car wash stories. Broadbent, thanks for just saying hi to me every morning with a smile. Like, even on those bad days, it always just came in with a smile and that was amazing. You guys changed more lives than you guys probably know, but uh, thank you. It's probably been one of the greatest experiences of my life so far, is to be in this class. Tom Stone and Weston Broadbent are two of the best men in the world. We absolutely love you and appreciate all the efforts you do for all the, all the efforts you put in all that you do for us. Yeah, just thank you guys. The one word that comes to mind when I think of Tom Stone is refreshing. I used to call him intense, but I think that refreshing is the word I would choose now. I, I feel like Tom is like this guy who just intends to do good things. There's just some people that are made to be something. Well, Mr. Robent was meant to always be a CAPS teacher. He's just the perfect, perfect teacher, the perfect educator, the one to show, to explain, to encourage, to be positive, to allow a student to become an adult. You know, the, the impact that I think Tom has on students' lives is I think he's just trying to make their lives better. Sometimes Tom will see a potential in a student that they don't see in themselves, and he can talk about it and bring it out and, and, and really help that student identify it in, their, in themselves. He's an anomaly, and we are lucky that he is here. What an incredible opportunity and blessing to have him in so many of our students, our children's lives. And a story that I think just exemplifies Tom would be we're sitting in, a, in an office with a student and, and the student was struggling to overcome some business thing that, as they were starting this business. And, and Tom said, hey, with your permission, can I interrupt you? 
And the student says, yeah, of course. And he points out how not only are they on the right path, but what they could do to make it better. And he was able to point it out and find a way to really enhance that student's business and where they were headed. We talk about pivot points in business. Well, people can be pivot points. And Mr. Robin is a pivot point for many people, I would dare say, including myself. I congratulate him and applaud him for the next chapter of his life, meaning a CT director. Thank you, Tom. You have made CAPS what it is today. He has been in, in the trenches since Innovate began as a founding father of Innovate too. So not only is he helping all of CAPS, but he has been uh, a critical element in what CAPS is today. And we can't thank Tom enough. I can't say enough how fantastic and wonderful he is. Congratulations and fantastic job, Mr. Broadband, and grateful that you're my friend.